Punk. Hi everyone, Work welcome to the Close Doctor Workshop. I'm super excited to bring the first episode of our online tutorial series. We want to help you make the most of your time at home and of course your wardrobe. Our team will be sharing all of our tips and techniques to help you care for your clothes. On today's episode, we will be teaching all about darning. A darn is a weaving process to fill a hole subtly in any garment. Today, we'll be doing a darn on a wool jumper. So please sit back, relax, grab a cuppa and please do join us. So first of all, we're going to go through some of the equipment that we use here at the workshop. So we have the darning mushroom. Now, this is, as you can see, a mushroom but it's designed with the dome top to place under the hole, which gives you a really nice firm surface to work with. Alternatively, we have the egg. Now this is mainly used for socks, gloves, small items that it's difficult to get, get a full mushroom into. Um, you can buy these at any haberdashery store, but we have found some items that you will have at home that can be used instead of going to the expense of buying these. So first off, we've got a paperweight, ideal shape, that will allow you to go under a jumper or the point of the paperweight will allow you to go into the sock quite easily. Next, we've got a rubber ball. Um, this again is the perfect shape it's nice and firm uh, a tennis ball really isn't the sort of thing because it's too furry and your needle will catch in that and finally we've got one of our five a day an orange perfect if you've if you don't have anything else and that will do the job nicely for you so having discussed those, we're going to move on now. We've got our needle. Now, normally darning needles will have a blunt end. We here use a needle with a point because it glides through wool without actually damaging any of the fibres or separating the knit. So this is why we choose a pointed one. Uh, we've got our needle threader. This is a godsend. It takes all of the frustration out of trying to thread a needle with a thick fibre that doesn't want to go through the eye very well. So Ellie will demonstrate how we do it. So she's popping the fine wire through the eye of the needle and then placing the wool through the wire of the needle threader and then very gently she's going to ease that back through the eye of the needle and as you can see that's threaded it without any stress or frustration so that really is the equipment that we use here at the workshop so now we will start on the process of the darn so what Ellie's going to do is place her oval shape underneath the hole in the jumper, like so. Now, she has a firm hold, but is very careful not to stretch the hole any bigger than needed. So she will start off by doing her vertical lines. Now in the trade, they're known as warp and weft lines, but for ease today, we're gonna to call them vertical and horizontal. So she'll start off just slightly to the edge of the hole 
weaving in and out as you can see. Now, as you'll notice, Ellie has no knot tied in the end of the thread. Um, we don't do that when we're darning and you'll see why as we go along. So now she's evenly pacing her vertical threads to go over the whole of the jumper. And this will go right across to cover the whole hole in. You can see top and bottom of the hole that that wool is being caught by the undamaged area, which is what we want. And that's starting to take shape nicely. So now Ellie has filled the base of the hole with her vertical thread lines. And as you can see, they're nicely even, not pulled tight. So now she's going to half turn the mushroom and we're now going to start with the horizontal. Now this is what forms the main stay of the darn. So again, it's just weaved in just below the hole to allow the wool to grip. Now, she's starting to fill the hole. So with the horizontal threads, you will go under and over each vertical line. And then the next row, you will go the opposite way. So you would go over and under then. Depending how you finish, you will start with an opposite stitch. This then forms a really nice, even weave.
and you can see now that that hole is filling really nicely. And now Ellie's just finishing off. So I, I go back to at the beginning when I said um, that Ellie hadn't tied a knot in the thread when she started. This is because the weave of the darn will hold all threads in place. So now she can just trim both ends off. Just taking care not to catch the jumper. And that darn will not go anywhere. It will not unravel. And with a light, gentle press, you then have a hole filled in your jumper.